Hey, what's up my friend? My name is Marco Valdez and today I'm gonna to teach you five things that you actually need to know about Adobe Lightroom Classic. Now hear me out, I know that there's a lot of videos out there about things that you should know or tips, but this is what I use on a daily basis whenever I'm editing either landscapes, portraits, or product shots. And trust me, it will speed up your workflow and make things easier for you. So let's just go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. And the one that I like to use a lot is actually the brush tool. However, it can get a little bit tricky because as you grab your brush tool, but right here, if I were to go ahead and start masking, right, this is everything I'm gonna be editing in the photo. However, it is difficult though to grab your subject perfectly without getting probably some of that sky in the background like that. One thing that I love to do to make this an easier process for me is I like to hold the control key in while I'm masking out my subject or whatever I'm wanting to edit out of my photo. If I were to hold the control key and then just start masking, it actually tries to stay within the bounds of my subject. You'll notice I'm kind of going out a little bit, but it's staying within my subject and her hair. And this right here is a game changer. It just literally makes the whole editing process so much easier and faster. Okay, so the next tip is actually going to be in the transform panel of Adobe Lightroom. And what this panel actually does is it has a few presets already built in, which is really helpful whenever you're using a super wide angle lens. For example, this shot that I have right here, it was shot at 15 millimeters itself. The thing is, whenever you shoot that wide, you actually end up getting some distortion in your images. So this panel right here, the transform panel, is actually how we're going to fix that. And it makes it super easy for you because it already has some built-in preset buttons right here. You got auto, guided, level, vertical, and full. But for time's sakes, let's just go ahead and hit auto and we'll see what the difference is. Right there, it went ahead and kind of leveled it out, made it kind of more of a realistic look because again, with a wide angle, everything gets distorted and it exaggerates details. All right, so whenever you're scrolling through like Instagram or you're looking at people's videos, sometimes you're gonna come across work that has a dreamy effect to it. And that's actually really easy to replicate. Super easy, all you gotta do is grab the clarity slider and go all the way up. Okay, just kidding, don't do that. It's gonna look horrible, okay? <laughs> but really, to give it a dream look, you are going to use the clarity slider. What you're gonna actually do though is move it over to the left-hand side to give it more of a softer look. So this is with the clarity down, and then this is the original. And all. Of course, everything is subjective, but if you want to achieve that dreamy look, go ahead and put that slider to the left side. So we've all taken a picture before with a beautiful landscape, but there's one thing that is throwing it off and that is your horizon line. That will break your photo. But good news is that it's easy to fix. So what you want to do is you want to go over to the crop overlay. So you want to come down here to where it says angle and the straighten tool. What you'll do is you'll click on that and then you'll go to your photograph, you'll click and hold, and then just drag across to that horizon line. Super easy to do, and it will improve your photo dramatically. So the image that I'm showing you, as you can see, the water looks disgusting, right? So we're gonna actually go ahead and fix that and turn it to a nice blue tone. And we're gonna go ahead and mask out that water and use that little trick that I showed you with the control on your keyboard, and then just start painting over the water. All right, so now that we have this water masked out, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to the hue section. This is what's going to allow us to change the color of that water to a different tone. I do suggest before you start adjusting it to check mark this use fine adjustment. If you don't, you're gonna just be sliding that thing really fast and all over the place. I'm just gonna go ahead and start dragging this over either to the left or to the right. And you'll begin to see this actually start to change colors. So let's keep dragging that over. All right, my friend, those are the five things that you need to know about Adobe Lightroom. If you did enjoy, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. If you want to see more of these types of videos, make sure to go ahead and subscribe as well. Other than that, stay creative, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.